Dentistry is um, the treatment of diseases to do with the teeth and to do with the mouth, but increasingly dentistry is about promoting good oral health and about prevention of these diseases. Dental courses in the UK really share a very similar foundation. So they're all five-year courses um, and they start with the, the basics of the, the biology, the biochemistry, physiology and anatomy. The differences between the courses can sometimes be about teaching style. There are some universities that teach in a very traditional manner. Some universities now like to use um, problem-based learning and there are some universities that do an integrated approach which is where you have a mixture of, of both styles. The personal statement is a key part of, of any application and we advise that it should be structured around four paragraphs really. Um, paragraph number one should be expressing why you're interested in studying dentistry. Um, paragraph two should really be about the voluntary work and work experience. The third paragraph can be about academic interests, um, but also what have you read about in the news that's related to dentistry. And then the final paragraph should be outlining sort of any extracurricular interests. One of the big skills that prospective dentists need to demonstrate is manual dexterity. The way that a student does this is quite individual. Um, some examples are we've had students that have been into cake decorating, we have students that like making airfix models, and we have students that like sculpting and, and maybe do that as part of an art qualification at A-level as well. Prospective dentists need a minimum of two weeks work experience in a dental setting. Alongside work experience requirements, students are expected to have built up a voluntary work and profile. We always try and point our students towards clinical based voluntary work or people based voluntary work. The depth of their voluntary work and work experience is absolutely key. Um, someone that has been doing work experience and voluntary work for a number of weeks, maybe over the course of a year or two, speaks volumes about a student in comparison to someone that has just crammed two weeks in, you know, the month before they have to submit their application. The grades that you need to, to study dentistry starts off with GCSE requirements. So although this varies from university to university, the, an average sort of requirement at GCSE is about five A star to A grades. At A level, um, the universities tend to look at three A grades roughly, although some are starting to think about a, an A star along to, alongside two A's. Students need to study biology and chemistry really at, at A level. The third subject is a little bit more open than that, so we would advise students to think about a, a sort of an academic subject, um, but sometimes students think about um, art-based subjects as a way of demonstrating their sort of manual skills. UKCAT and BMAT are pre-admissions tests. The UKCAT is um, a little bit like the 11 plus but for, for 18 year old prospective doctors and dentists so it has areas like verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning so math section and it deals with looking at shapes and patterns and so on. The BMAT test is very different to the UK CAT. Um, firstly it has scientific content so students have to have a sort of GCSE standard knowledge of physics, chemistry, biology and, and maths as well. On top of that students do have some sections that are based around um, similar questions to the UK CAT but then um, one section is based around writing an essay just to see how a student can communicate in writing. Universities um, interview candidates because they want to make sure that a student is the same person that has appeared on, on their personal statement and on their application. It's also another way for universities to um, sort of weed out students that they don't think are suitable. Dental interviews follow roughly two, two formats. Um, increasingly, most universities use multiple mini interviews or MMIs. Um, some universities, although they're a dying breed, use panel interviews. In a panel interview, students will tend to get asked about why they want to study dentistry why they want to study at a particular, the, the particular university, what skills they think they have. Um, they might be asked to talk about their work experience. A multiple mini interview is different, as in you will 
visit a number of different stations and at each station you will do different tasks. They can be um, responding directly to, to questions, role plays, manual tasks and so in, in a multiple mini interview there's a lot more variety of what they will expect you to demonstrate. Preparation for a dental interview is something that ideally needs to be done over a, a long period of time and we advise students to start a little reflective journal really and this is how students build a very strong foundation of knowledge to take into an interview. Um, so we would say keep track of anything interesting that you've read um, related to dentistry or oral health in the media, for any um, experiences in work experience and voluntary work and also your thoughts and ideas about your reasons for wanting to study dentistry. MPW has a very high success rate in terms of getting its prospective dentists into dental school. We find that where a student is really determined to put the work in, more often than not we're able to help them secure um, their dream of studying dentistry at university.